it's Zena, Warthog Princess. Welcome back. So this video is going to be where I'm going now with my whole planner, organizer, life tracking thing. So first thing is I actually decided to try the Fancy Frilly stuff. So I picked Erin Condren. No particular reason. It was just something I had heard a lot about. There's a community out there, a lot of videos and Facebook group pages and or Facebook pages, Facebook groups, and and all that. So anyway, I decided to go that route just as to see. I mean, you can switch brands, you can do whatever. But it's not exclusive, Erin Condren. I'm sort of a free for all, go with what you like kind of a person. So here it is. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Erin Condren. And the unfortunate thing is it takes forever. Now, everything takes forever with COVID anyway, but but their stuff doesn't even ship out because some of it's customized. So like I got my name on the on the go folio thing. So that has to get, you know, in, not engraved, but, you know, embossed or whatever. And then they got to put the order together and then it has to send out. And then you got the mail system, which takes forever now. So it, it's okay. You know, I have obviously planners and things that I'm using that are working for me. But I'm anxious to get started. And I happen to order a whole bunch of stuff. Like planners, folios, um, a plastic thing that goes in there to give you pockets. I, I bought a lot of stickers and I didn't buy any washi tape. Wasn't on board with that just yet. But then I was shopping on Amazon and I got some more stuff, more planners, more. And, and I went strictly with the petite planners. And then I bought um, more stickers on Amazon. <laughs> And then I went to Michael's and I bought more stickers and more things and I bought some washi tape. So we're going to get into all that right now. And I've already gotten started because thankfully Amazon happens really quick. So I have one planner and I spent all day yesterday prepping it. But before we get into it itself, let's do um, a, a show of what I got. Well, I got a new mug. It's water. Sorry, I'm just totally parched today. All right, so first thing is I have my Vera Everything organizer. Um, this is in Lighten Up in Tangerine Twist. This is a factory exclusive pattern and style. I love this thing. I have a couple. There's another one sitting on my table over there in a blue medallion one. Um, that's my everyday, like on the table. It has my essentials, the book I'm reading, some whatever. Anyway, but this one, so I have a couple things. I have a bookmark from the old agenda from Vera. I have a, a ruler, just a clear thing if I want to draw straight lines. I have the Vera Bradley meal planner, which comes like this. It's one piece, but it has a perforation in the middle. So it's one piece like this, and this is in Cloud Vines. So you have your meal plan and then your shopping list. And I bent it, took it, you know, ripped it apart. Um, and I cut the magnet, so now I can have two separate things um, because it just, it fit in here this way. <laughs> but also it just makes sense you're gonna have them separated anyway, so might as well just pre-separate it. It doesn't take as much room um, in the thing. So anyway, that's what I did with those. And I keep this one in here with my shopping organizer, also Vera Bradley Cloud Vines. So this is a nice little, if you're a couponer, these are great. I really have, I'm really bad about doing that. I just do it. But it comes with a little notepad shopping list as well, which is plenty big. Um, and these obviously don't fit, but yeah, if you fold them in half, they will. But then you have your, you know, spots to store different coupons and you have a pen slot, which I keep my pen in there. I don't usually put it in the elastic because I'm always writing with it. But there you go. So you have that. The pen is not Vera. You could put a Vera pen in there. But it's not a very thick spot there, so you kind of got to use a thin pen. At any rate, so I have this and that, and I put it in the planner right here, or in organizer, I mean. So what else do I have in? First, let's look at the spots. This is how it's set up. These are not rigid. They do have a little bit of give to them, but they, they're limited with how much they can move. Um, so you have certain size slots. This is a home cube and another home cube. They're just pencil boxes. We'll get into these in a moment, but these fit perfectly here and here. And then these go right next to it very nicely. Oops, I turned it this way so I can see. Stop. Um, and then I just put the ruler things in the small slot. I did have my Erin my Condren planner here, 
But then I started adding stickers and some other stuff. So I came up with another solution for that. So before we get onto that solution, let me show you what's in these boxes. All right, not important, but it kind of goes to what we're, we're kind of getting there. This is the beginning, like I said, a ton of stuff. Because if you know me at all, I don't do anything half-assed. I went full deep, head first, all in. And so this is gonna be an adventure. I did give myself some leeway because I need calendars, I need planners. I did buy some undated things, so if I don't use them right away, I can do them. Some of it's, you know, if I don't like it, it turns out I hate it, I can get rid of it. I'll just roll it over and give it away or sell it, or whatever. Um, but with the sticker part of it, why I allowed myself to go really crazy on that, and I actually restrained myself, but in bits ended up expanding that. So in the end, not restrained at all. Um, but because for years, and I mean decades, all of my life, um, since college at least, I've been collecting things, like with the intent of scrapbooking, but a lot of it has just never happened. I have boxes of things from all over the world, stickers and postcards and whatever, but I did keep the stickers separate. And I have a little organizer and I have all the different kind of groups of stickers. And so if these stickers for planners don't work out, I can put them into the scrapbook sticker pile and a lot of them will work either way. On that note, I rated my scrapbook stuff, which, you know, whatever, because I can replace it, um, for the generic stuff. And so I've pulled those stickers into my planner stuff instead. So I've kind of gone this way with the option to throw it that way if it doesn't work out. So that's my logic anyways, got me, got me hooked. So this little box is actually really nifty. It has a little Velcro pocket, it has um, a mesh elastic, it has several elastics for like pens or other things. At the moment, this one I'm only using for a couple things. Um, really one thing with the bonus thing. So it's, it's my washi tape organizer. This was a tube of them I got from Michaels and then I bought a two, two roll with the blacks and I put the extra one in there. So there's just one loose right now. Um, there is some other places where I bought washi tape. It just haven't shown up. So this will not suffice for the amount of washi tape I bought. But we'll, we'll grow with it as needed. Um, but this, what is this? So at Michael's, you know, they have a lot of different things, jewelry and other things. So I thought I want to put a little charm on my planner, the little elastic on the outside. I'll show you eventually when I do it. But I thought these would be perfect little charm. It has just a little silver thingy with a, a blingy um, gem, which is white. So it's like diamond looking. But just a little dangle jangle thing on there. And I bought the little alligator clips to go with it to kind of make my own charm. That way if I lose it, it's like $3 for six of them. I mean, come on, I'm not worried about that at all because it's gonna get banged around. It's gonna, you know, anyway. That was my thought process. So if I lose it, I'll just put another one on. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, and I, I did buy two of the on the go folios. I bought one with two calendars, so I can have two years of calendars, or if they're 18 months, I can't remember, um, then it would be three years if I have 18 months times two, but, but one regular and one undated. And then I bought two of the daily ones, again, because I'm trying to consolidate, so that I can use that as my to-do tracking and, and elaborate all my planning and stuff anyways. Um, so again, one of those is dated and, and the other is undated and then I have some spares to, to backfill. So I have four in the one, and then the other folio I got will have um, travel planner, wellness tracker, uh, now, I'm, now I'm blanking, travel, wellness, blank, there's a, like a, just a note one, and something else, sorry. We'll get to it when it comes, because we'll do unboxings, it'll be fun. But let's go on with where we're at. So the other home cube, this is my, like my main one that I'm using all the time. It is the same setup, but I have in here just some like post-it notes, the little skinny tabs so I can tab pages. My whiteout is in here, the little roll whiteout tape. I have scissors, you gotta have scissors because you're gonna use those a lot. And these are just some generic ones. I think I had them from when I had to get stitches out or something. They're like medical scissors. And then just a few pens. These three came with um, 
a bundle that I bought. It's Erin Condren Wellness Bundle. And it came with some stickers and some pens and obviously the planner. But anyway, just a few pens and an eraser. And I think there's a pencil in here. Huh. Or not. There should be. There is um, in here. It's a three-way. And then I have a pair of tweezers. And I, these are great for working with stickers. You don't need them. I mostly don't use them. But occasionally you have a little tiny thing in order to place it. It's just, it's just tweezers. These are nothing fancy. I don't even know where I got them. I've had them forever. But it's a cute little thing. And so it just, yeah. And actually I should put that on the front here. My little strappy strap. There we go. Okay. So that's my planner work kit. And it fits just perfectly in my organizer right there. So that's great. Now my solution I was talking about. Ah! Drop the meal plan on the floor. Okay, duct tape. This is a fun one. It's, it's literally ducks, a little cute little ducks. Um, but I took an Amazon box, one of the small Amazon box and made it into a planner box <laughs> because I spent so much money on planners, I don't have money to buy a box. Anyways, this is the perfect size and it was cheap, cheap because it was free. So there's Amazon, I left this, I left this square. But it's covered, you know, and it's inside and out. So it, I wanted to make it last a little longer, plus make it more fun colored. So I just duct taped it. Just duct tape. Okay, so let's look at this. So the planner I got, Wellness Planner. This is all I'm going to say about it in this video because the very next video, we're going to go through this in detail and show the ideas I came up with so far. Um, I saw on another, I can't remember if it was on Facebook or on YouTube, because I was trying to get smarter on some things and some ideas. And this was a great one. These little, it's like a photo thing. Um, Coco Polka is the name of it. It's, I'll put a link down below, but it's on Amazon. It's just this little thing and they're just blank pages. And so if they're the perfect size, I put my extra calendar tabs in there and the front cover, but little things to put your stickers in so that when you wanna go plan, you can just flip through your stickers. So these are the stickers that came with the wellness planner. You get two sheets. You got the planner stuff and the fun stuff. Um, and that's all that's in. This one's my Erin Condren one. And then, here we'll just go back, to, we'll just rotate. The other one, it comes as a two pack and, and these are the covers that it came with, but they are removable. You can put your own customized thing in there. And this one, <laughs> you can see, I put a lot of stuff in. Some I bought, like I bought these fun emoji stickers um, but most of these I had already in my scrapbook stuff. So I have fun metallic looking ones or acrylic. Um, and then I've also got planner looking ones, like holiday stuff. And yeah, so some of these I had already, some I bought at Michael's. These ones came with my agendas from Vera because they all those came with them, including the booklet one. And I just cut the sheet in half to make it fit in here. So there's those. And then these little um, tab stickers, there's three sets of them. They are from the Vera Bradley Planner Bonus Pack. And I didn't use them for that because I like the magnetic ones. And then I bought stickers for Xena Warthog Princess in two different. So there's one that's uh, bigger and one that's smaller. Anyway. Okay, so that's the sticker books, which will be filled very soon because they're already ordered. Um, but that's not all, because then at Michael's they have these, they, they have so much stuff, and they have sales all the time. And I got some really good deals on some of those stickers, like $1.50, and they're usually like five or six bucks, so that was pretty good. Still too much to spend on stickers to plan for the plan, but eh, it's fun. I'm gonna do it, do it once, and then we'll see. But these, they're different ones. This one, bright, best year ever, and then shapes. So this one, you know, you want to put notes to yourself in different colors and shapes and sizes. So it comes with all those different shapes and sizes. And all of them have a little elastic on the bottom, so it's not just gonna be flailing. But I just put them in the put them in the box. But you can see I've I've used a bunch of them already. But you just kind of get a flip through of some of the different things. But you get a lot. And these are I don't remember what it cost. I don't remember. But these are me and my big ideas, the happy planner. 
Also a big, I'm finding out after the fact, of course. I just saw what I wanted and got it. And it turns out this is also very popular, like Erin Condren. I don't know if it's as big or, I don't know. But it works, and I like them, so I bought them. Okay, then um, I did get another sticker book. This is an Erin Condren sticker book. This one, Turn Your Dreams Into Plans, Designer Sticker Book, Classic Collection, Edition 3. Okay, well, it is very pretty, and it is the size, um, roughly, of your agenda, so you could even put it in your folio with your stuff. I'm not going to because I'm going to have too many. Um, but it has a, a similar look to what you just saw, but with, you know, a little bit ele more elevated, and there you go. So lots of pretty things for that. And then I also bought this little storage box from Erin Condren. I don't remember. It's like mid-century circles or something. Um, but it's just a magnetic front cover like this. And so you could put your sticker pages in here. For one, I have too many already. Two, those books are way better to flip through. Um, yeah. So at the moment, I have Vera Bradley stuff in here because you go with what you want. Um, yeah. Let's see what this says. Stylish storage box. Yeah, that's all it says. But I just left the tab in there in case I needed it as a spacer. So this is something else I bought from Vera Bradley, and I don't remember what it's called, but it's like sticky notes of all different sizes and shapes. Erin Condren has these types of things. I think a lot of the other planning things does, and Vera does still have these, I believe. Um, you can find them like on Amazon too sometimes. But, but so there's you got tabs, basic ones, and those ones say today and someday, so you can use them there or overwrite. Then two small ones like that, and to do ones. Then they all are sticky, sticky back. It's designed to kind of snap into your spiral binder, your notebooks. Obviously not a factor for me right now. And then I found on Amazon, and I don't remember, maybe I did see them on Vera, but, but not so much. They kind of breezed in and out if they were there. But these are little planner sticker books from Vera. And I bought three of them on Amazon. They were a decent price, I don't remember what it was. Um, but you can find them on Amazon. And I bought three different ones because then you have the different varieties of colors and patterns. So inside, just like the others, you have kind of a, you have a theme. Those ones have some letters and just planner stuff. And I don't know why, um, not on this one, I guess it would, yeah. There also is like gift wrapping stickers, like to and from. I'm not sure why that's in here. That seems a little odd and out of place. But there are two sheets, so 12 stickers for those. That's fine. It's just a little unusual. But, okay. So we got two of those. We got the, um, I don't know what pattern. Uh, I think it's like a Moonlight Garden recoloration. Wait, I'll tell you what it is. I kept the sticker. Yeah, Moonlight Garden Tonal. So I cut out the plastic that came with and I kept the thing just so I remember. Anyway, planner sticker books. And they have an elastic just like the other thing. And this one is similar but obviously different colorations. There's the... This one is in Floating Garden, which is a newer, more recent one. But it's the same, it's just different colors. And again, you got your gift, gift tags. It's funny. It just makes me laugh. Things that I don't get sometimes, they're, they're random. Okay, so, but these are a little bit smaller than the Erin Condren one, so that's okay. They all still fit in, the, in there. And I just put them actually put this spacer on top of the tab so I'm not flicking them off every time I put it in and out of the box. So right now that's what's in the box, but we'll put that in the back here and just cycling through our planners. This came with the wellness journal bundle because I bought the bundle. This is a habit tracker from Erin Condren. It says on the bottom, small actions every day lead to big things. Totally true, actually. I really like that. Um, but what it is, you put your task and then you can mark off your seven days of the week. Did it, did it, did it, you know, check, check, or X or whatever. Um, I, this one still has the thing on it. I haven't figured out how I'm going to use this or, or even if because, I, I mean, that's kind of what the whole tracker and, and all the calendars are already going to be doing. So I don't need multiple redundant tracking things. I will already have that built in. So TBD on this. And... Then I have some folder pages that were in my old planners that I took apart. 
because you never know, you might need them later. And lastly, right now, and these are not Erin Condren. Um, this one, I don't even know. Piccadilly, I don't know where I got this one. But it's like a moleskin notebook. This one is not moleskin, but it's similar anyways. It's just cardboard. Um, but just, you know, lined pages, generic blank. Um, so because it's similar size, not exactly the same, it is the same height and that's important, but it's less wide. Um, so I figured if I need more blank notebooks, because I, I write a lot of stuff down because my I forget everything nowadays. Uh, so I could, I could put this in my planner thing as well. So I got that out and I have two more sets and these are Moleskin Volant Collection Ruled Journals. So just two, but I love purple. So they're two packs and they come in these two colors. So they're both, you know, they're both the same. Um, but they are a little bit bigger, but they're, again, the same thing, same height, not quite as wide, but a little wider than the black one was. Um, but so it's great. And actually, you know, perfect thickness. It's not going to over bulk it. I saw on a video, by the way, someone that had their whole photo, someone had been doing it a while, and they had four planners in there. And then they also had extra, I don't know how they did it. I had to figure it out. Put two extra notebooks in there. I don't think I need two extra ones, but I would put one. And even if I couldn't elastic it in there, like through the spine, I would still just put it in there, like in the folio and let the elastic hold it. It would be fine. So we'll see. But for now, in the box. So that's the planner box. You can see I have room to grow and I can tell you I already should start duct taping another box based on what I ordered. But, <laughs> say lovey. I also have another thing coming like a little storage rack that you'll see later. Okay, one other thing that I just pulled out of my um, closet right before this video was I, paper clips. I forgot I had these. I was looking for rubber bands because um, I have those. I have like office supplies up in a cabinet and whatever. Anyway, I was giving them to a friend who I didn't know until today likes rubber bands and I'm going to her house. So I thought I'd bring them, but I found my old paper clips. Now these are, um, these ones specifically are from like elementary school and middle school and high school. Look, I mean, it's Ziggy. Do you remember Ziggy? Like I was born in 71. I loved Ziggy growing up, loved him. And I was a pack rat, I'm a pack rat. And I was raised poor, so I held on to everything. Um, so anyway, I have these little fun paper clips. I thought these would be great for the planners. Yeah, so, I mean, they don't hold like rigidly, but they certainly would be good markers. So there's that, and then there's this one that says things to do. Memos, and these are, you know, like color spectrum. Odds and ends, notes, urgent. you think urgent would have been the red one, but whatever. And ideas. So they're just, um, they were a pack, like they were all stuck together and you break them apart. Then I have, look, Carl's Jr. My brother used to work there. <laughs> that one I think isn't going to stick out too much, but I just got them out. You also can use big paper clips, and these are the coated ones, so they're not going to leave, like, marks on your paper. So I just grabbed a couple of those. I have these plastic ones. These ones are not great for paper clips, but they work. So I have a couple of those. And then I have a whole set of these plastic ones. It says ACCO, ACCO, ACCO. I don't, I don't know where I got these. I don't think I really used them, but there's four, a set of four of those. And then I have another one. <laughs> this also dates me, Cracker Jacks. You remember Cracker Jacks used to have prizes? I don't know. Really, I think Cracker Jacks are still out there, but yeah, I've had this forever. forever. I don't think I've ever used that one. And then these two fun ones, they're, they're paper clips, you know, and you can clip it on different rings or whatever to put them, put them on there. So I grabbed paper clips and I need to add them to one of my little kits there. So anyway, next video, let's look at where we've come so far with the planning. Thanks for watching. I hope that wasn't too crazy, but um, I know some of you really like the details. And so here we go with the oversharing. See you again soon. Bye for now.